In this video, you're going to be learning about CSS Flexbox, CSS positioning, and also a little bit about JavaScript by creating this tab gallery using just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So let's start the video. So if you guys like the video, please like it, subscribe if you haven't, and turn the bell on to remain notified. In your index.html file inside the body, you're going to create a div with a class of image container which will contain all the images that you see on the top. So for this, I'm going to be adding image tag and we'll add in the source of these images. So in my CSS, I have already added some basic styling like I have added the height and width of the body to full screen and removed the default margin and padding to zero. Now we're going to target the image container and we'll set its width and height and we'll align it at the top using position absolute and we'll give it top value of zero. And then for the images that are inside, we want them to stack horizontally. So we're going to use display flex and set justify corner and align items to center so that they're at the center. Now we're going to style the image inside the image container. So we're going to give it a height and we'll set its object fit to cover so that the image gets to keep its aspect ratio and also fills the entire dimension given. And then we're going to set its margin to 10 pixels. And we'll set in a transition of 0.2 seconds for the hover animation. And so for the hover, we only need to change the opacity to 0.7 and we're good to go. So we're almost done and our image container is ready. So as you can see, we can hover and it changes the opacity and it's starting to look really good. Now to get the main image box just underneath the image container we're going to use a div and we'll give it a class of image viewer and just inside of it we're going to use a span which will contain the cross button which one we click will remove the image so we're going to use font awesome icon for that and just underneath that we're going to use the image tag and we'll use a default image so by default i want it to have the first image and we'll give it a class of big image now we're going to want to start our image viewer that we just created in our HTML. So we're going to give it width and height and we'll position it absolutely. So we're going to give it a bottom value and also a left value, but we still want to have it at the center horizontally. So we're going to transform and translate it along the X axis and we'll add in a padding from the top of 2RAM. Now we're going to style the cross button, which when we click removes the image. So it has a class of remove image. First, we're going to give it a font size of 2 rem and then we're going to position it absolutely at the top right corner. So we're going to give it position absolute and we'll set in the top and right value. And we'll add in a black color and also set its cursor as pointer. So our layout is almost ready. So we have the images at the top, which when we hover has this effect and also the big image underneath that. But this icon right here, when we click, doesn't really remove the image. So to get it done, we need to go to the remove image span and add in the on click attribute, which basically triggers when we click onto the span. So what we basically want to do is we want to target its parent element and we want to add in its style property of display and set its value to none. Basically, we want its parent to just have a display property of none whenever we click on it. Now, so as you can see, whenever we click onto this cross button, it just vanishes along with the image. Now let's wrap it up with few lines of JavaScript. So we're going to create the script tag within which we're going to have a function of the name change image, which is going to take in one parameter as image. And now we're going to store the big image that we had in a variable named big image using query selector. And then we're going to add in the source attribute of the big image as the source attribute of the image that we can take in as the parameter. Now we're going to target the parent element of the big image and set its display property as block. So which means that whenever we click on any image from the top image container, it will by default have the block as its display property, even if we click on the cross icon. Now the last thing that we're left to do is on each individual image, we're going to write the onClick attribute and we're going to call the function changeImage 
and we'll pass in this as its parameter. So there we have it with that we have our project done so whenever we click on any image from above the image underneath changes and you can use the cross button to remove it and get it back again by clicking it so that's it for today's video i hope you guys learned something new so meet you guys in the next video till then bye bye